Well, the topic for today is seed germination. Well, so at first we have to know what is seed germination. So, the development of a seedling from a seed is called seed germination. And seed germination is two types. Number one, hypogeal germination and number two, epigeal germination. So, we have to know what is epigeal germination and we have to know what is hypogeal germination. Actually, the germination in which the epicotyl grows rapidly and as a result, the plumule comes out of the soil, leaving the cotyledon underground is called hypogeal germination. And sometimes the plumule comes out with the cotyledons of the soil is called epigeal germination. Actually, for your better understanding, then I wrote here actually to make remember about hypogeal and epigeal germination like ap means above and hypo means below and geal means geo that means soil. So you can understand or you can remember very easily that apigeal means above the soil and hypogeal means below the soil. Okay, so I mean to give you the example of hypogeal germination, I have drawn here actually the gram seed. We all know about gram seed. Actually, the gram is a non endospermic seed, dicot seed. So let us know about dicot seed. I mean in gram seed, it has two cotyledon. In a dicot seed, it actually has the two cotyledon. And at the junction of two cotyledon, there is a white color structure is called embryonal axis. And the upper apex of the embryonal axis is called plumule. That the words actually are used in the definition of hypogeal and epigeal germination. Again, I am saying that in a gram seed, it has two cotyledon, and I mean at the junction of two cotyledon, there is a white color structure is called embryonal axis, and the upper apex of the embryonal axis is called plumule, and the part of embryonal axis of the soil okay i mean above the nodal zone is called epigotyle and the part of embryonal axis below the nodal zone is called hypogotyle so now see i have already drawn here two figure one for hypogeal germination and another for epigeal germination you see as I said, the hypogeal germination, the plumule comes out of the soil. So see, the plumule comes out of the soil, leaving the cotyledon below the soil or underground is called the hypogeal germination. For an example, gram seed. Let's see about epigeal germination. In epigeal germination, you see the, I mean, uh, what can I say? The plumule and the cotyledon both comes out of the soil. Okay, so it is called actually epigeal germination. And maybe you are seeing here the seed coat uh, in labeling. That seed coat, I mean, the when the seed is protected with the outer covering is called the seed coat. So that is actually about seed germination. So I think you all understand or again we can go to the summary. I mean the development of a seedling from a seed is called germination. And germination is two types. One is hypogeal germination and another is epigeal germination. Hypogeal germination when the plumule comes out of the soil leaving the cotyledon below the soil is called hypogeal. And when the plumule and cotyledon both comes out of the soil is called epigeal germination.